viewers! As you know that Eid ul Adha is just around the corner. So, in today's video, we will be showing you how to cook liver along with the chemistry involved in cooking it. Before we get started, go ahead and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notified every time we upload a new video. Now let's get into it. First, take half a kg of liver and cut it into small pieces. Then rinse it with cold water 2 to 3 times. The first method is the milk method. Soaking the liver in milk for 1 to 2 hours has a multitude of benefits. It enhances the taste, texture and the color of the meat and also cuts down the bad odor neutralizing any residual urine. Secondly, milk also removes the bitter flavor from the liver. The second method is the ice water method. Soaking the liver in ice water for 30 minutes will cut the liver smell. The third and final method is the baking powder method, which is less time consuming than the other two. It is also a convenient method for cooking right after your kurbani. Add a teaspoon of turmeric powder and baking powder each in hot water. Baking powder alkalizes the meat surface, making it harder for the proteins to bond and thereby keeping the liver tender when cooked. Boiling water will boost the already high pH of baking powder. Sodium bicarbonate or baking soda breaks down into three compounds in boiling water. Sodium carbonate, water and carbon dioxide. Now the question arises is why are we using baking powder instead of baking soda? The answer is that baking powder will not change the flavor, while baking soda will change the flavor of the meat. Now for the gravy, take two medium-sized onions and dice them finely. And also cut two large-sized tomatoes into small pieces. Then blend them together in a blender along with one tablespoon of ginger and garlic paste. Take a pan and add some oil in it and pour the mixture. Fry this mixture well and keep sauteing until it thickens and the moisture gets evaporated and oil starts separating. Finally add the liver and let it cook for about 5-7 to seven minutes. And also add all the spices at this stage. You'll be needing these spices. Chili flakes, 1 teaspoon. Salt, according to your taste. Garam masala, 1 teaspoon. Roasted cumin powder, 1 teaspoon. Dried fenugreek leaves, 1 tablespoon. And roasted coriander powder, 1 tablespoon as well. Fenugreek seeds or fenugreek leaves are added to not only add flavor, but are always added to the liver because they are high in fiber and help in flushing out harmful toxins from the body, thus aiding in digestion. Liver is a soft and tender tissue with 70% water and when you cook it with salt for too long, it quickly releases all of its water and gets tough and chewy. So the best way to cook liver is to reduce the cooking time to 5 to 7 minutes in total. And when the liver is cooked for more than 5 to 7 minutes, it gets hard, tastes more bitter and also has a chalky texture. So we recommend adding salt in the end to keep the liver more tender as adding it at an earlier stage will cause the liver to quickly release all of its water and get tough and chewy. And another tip to keep the liver soft and juicy is to cook it on medium-high heat because slow heat will cause the liver to dehydrate and become rigid. But let's say that you cook the liver for more than 5 minutes and the liver seems hard. You can still save it by cooking it for another 30 to 45 minutes with a little bit of water. Although this will turn the liver soft, but it will not be as juicy as it would have been when cooked for only 5 minutes. Now let's see the result. This is how our cooked liver looks like. As you can see how juicy and tender it is. You can garnish this dish however you like. We garnished it with coriander, ginger, chilies and with a drizzle of fresh lemon juice. Thanks for watching. 
Hope you like this recipe with the chemistry in it. And if you did, give this video a huge thumbs up. Chemistry can be found the most in our daily household cooking. And knowing what every ingredient does in a dish chemically, you can enhance the taste of your delicacies even more. Soon, I'll meet you with another recipe. Till then, take care and goodbye!